First of all, as a white man who about to go off on another rant about another movie, I am personally baffled and quite frankly appalled by Brie Larson's comments. The only people who could be offended by what she said are white men, so therefore I am offended. I actually couldn't give less than a shit about what she said, and it's actually a statement about the about white men and the lengths that boredom will take us to. Now that we got that out the way, I saw a Marvel movie. You know, it's just another movie, just another Marvel movie. It's not good that I'm saying that. This movie feels like it only exists to serve a greater purpose. If Endgame weren't right around the corner, and Marvel just wanted to give us an idea for what's to come with uh, Brie Larson's Carol Danvers, then yeah, we have a problem. Captain Marvel, the character, is flat. There's no change that occurs. Her cockiness comes off as just plain arrogance. There's zero reasons for me to root for her as the main protagonist. And all she does is discover her past and blow shit up with her fists. You watch the movie. You tell me what exactly she gains or loses. I can't think of anything because she, quite frankly, never acts like she gains or loses anything. As a standalone movie, Captain Marvel fails. If Endgame weren't literally right around the corner and Marvel just wanted to give us an idea of what's to come with Brie Larson's Carol Danvers, then 100, 100, this movie is dog shit. Captain Marvel somehow ended up as the flat character. There's no change that occurs. Her cockiness comes off as just plain arrogance. There's zero reasons for me to root for her as the protagonist of the film, and all she does is discover her, her mysterious, mysterious, whatever, past, and blow shit up with her fists. What exactly does she lose or gain in the movie? I can't tell you, because her character never acts like she loses or gains anything. That's not a comment on Brie Larson, either. It's a comment on the writing. In the movie, where there's a joke, there could be something meaningful to make me give a shit about Carol. Technically, that Kree death squad she rolled with should have been considered her friends. So when Ben Mendelsohn's character comes up and flips the idea of Skrulls and Kree being the good and bad guys respectively, that should have made it ten times harder for, for Carol to fight her former friends. That should have been gut-wrenching and just difficult overall for her. Instead, she cracks bad jokes and I think kills them with zero to next to no remorse or hesitation. That could just come off as her being a soldier, so she's cold and stoic like she's supposed to be. But you can assume the same thing I did and that like the rest of the entire story, it was just shitty writing. I will make another Marvel example of one of Marvel's problems. Ant-Man and the Wasp was bad. And good for numerous reasons. Paul Rudd, Evangeline Lilly, and Michaels Douglas and Pena. The entire movie sucked. It was funny as hell, but all we needed to know about was the Quantum Realm and the movie's mid credit scene. Very similar situation here with Captain Marvel. We just need to know who, what, when, where, why, and how Captain Marvel. But for Avengers Endgame, not her own movie for some fucking reason. Sam Jackson was good. I thought he was good. I like that he was actually the comedic relief over Carol because, you know, he was actually funny. The de-aging tech Marvel has too, by the way. That is incredible. I've seen it like, we've all seen it like two, two or three times, Morty. And the fact that he lost his eye to that stupid cat thing. Yeah, I know the internet is blowing up about that. Um, No comment. Now, Talos, the Australian Skrull, was the best part of the movie. He starts off as the villain because that's how Carol's flashbacks make him out to be, but Talos does something that no Marvel villain has ever done before, ever. He used his words over his actions. He snuck up on Carol at that at that farmhouse or whatever, and instead of trying to capture her and, you know, extract those memories again, or do some other evil shit, uh, he actually just used his words and the art of reasoning with somebody. Carol, stoic and heroic Captain Marvel, resorts firstly to her fists, followed by just some joke of a joke, like a joke of a joke. Talos was actually funnier than Carol. And on top of that, on that on that scroll stowaway ship where all the scrolls are right up right outside of Earth, yeah, Talos had more of an arc than Carol has had the entire movie. He was fighting Kree to protect his people, you know, his lover, his wife or whatever, and his his son, I'm assuming. Meanwhile Carol had Maria and Monica, but who cares? That's how the movie was presented to me, through Carol's eyes. And through her eyes, it, is, it seems like she doesn't give a shit, so why should I? Jude Law came off as a dick, a protective one at first, and then we later find out that he really is just a piece of shit. Um, he was good. I, I have to applaud him. Here's what I wish they did in the movie to make me, you know, actually care about what's happening. 
they should have uh, elaborated on why the Kree and the Skrulls hate each other and why they're fighting. It's the central conflict. It's why Captain Marvel blows up Skrulls with has zero hesitation. There would have been more of like a gut punch when Carol thinks she realizes that she's been killing the wrong people this whole time. Um, especially after being blinded by the people that she called her friends. Throughout the movie, her past doesn't even cause her any conflict or grief. It acts more like an obstacle for her to hurdle over just for the plot to show her who to blow up with her fists. I realize right about now that this video essay is a mess, so it reflects on the movie. Raise your hand if you've heard of the Superman complex. It's probably a bad question to ask. Basically, Superman is boring because he's invincible, he has all the powers, he's like moved planets. So it just means he's boring as a hero. He can be, unless you give him a good weakness, a good story. Kryptonite, in and of itself, is literally the greatest metaphor for weakness. Everyone uses it, but it is never a great Superman story. The difference between Captain Marvel and Superman is Captain Marvel is not invincible. But she might as well be. She bleeds and all that, yeah, 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 yeah. But she rips through an entire fleet of alien spaceships like their tissue and comes out without a single scratch. Without earning that big moment. If we had seen Carol struggle to beat someone, struggle to maybe save a civilian on that train fight, struggle to cope with the fact that her entire understanding of Kree life being flipped on its head by a scrawl, if we had seen Carol struggle just one bit, I might have actually given a shit about her. I may have actually thought to myself, ooh, wow, what's gonna happen next? All the feminist stuff surrounding this movie, I didn't really pick up any anything strong in it, but it doesn't matter if you're a male or a female. Any compelling hero is gonna struggle. There was that one scene that, you know, Carol and Maria are talking about all the, how all the men put them down and how they told them that they, they were never gonna make it. I actually enjoyed that scene. It was one of the few triumphs that Carol and or Maria had in the entire movie. And also possibly the shortest one. Wonder Woman, in Wonder Woman, was oppressed by every man she encountered thanks to the 1940s. She had struggled with knowing if she was truly a god or just a mortal amongst mortals. She didn't care about any of that the second she saw what humans were capable of. And she actually dared to face unknown odds in spite of that all. And she inspired the army of men to follow her right into battle. All because she just wanted to help people. Captain Marvel was fun. I enjoyed watching her blow shit up with her fists, and oh my god, scrolls everywhere. Secret Invasion is totally happening. And that's about it. The fight scenes were nothing memorable. No reason for me to care about Carol. Um, somehow the villain turned anti-hero was more interesting than the hero, which if you listen to the internet's thoughts about Marvel villains, that is surprising. My subscribers who watch these as, you know, as they come out know that I'm fresh off Daredevil Season 3. And... <laughs> That show knows that the greatest villains are empathetic. But, but, Heath Ledger's Joker isn't empathetic at all. But he's also everything that Christian Bale's Batman is not. Same thing with Wilson Fisk and Daredevil. Yeah, Captain Marvel had none of that. Like I previously mentioned, I actually like the Skrulls being victims, that twist. So the fact, so when Ben Mendelsohn came out with a better arc, with a well-written arc competing with next to no arc at all, um, that's why I walked out of the movie theater remembering mostly the scrawls. Scrawls and the mid credit scene. <sighs> like I told you, Ant-Man and the Wasp, just like Captain Marvel, they serve one purpose. To bow down to the real supreme intelligence. Alright, that's enough about this one. Marvel, yeah, you know, honestly, you done fucked up with this one. I hope the Russo brothers, or as Tyrone Magnus called them, the twin Jesuses, that was one of the best things I heard about Joe and Anthony Russo. And here's, listen. I'm, if it was up to me as Mr. Feige, I would put the whole Marvel Cinematic Universe in the hands of the twin Jesuses. The two Jesuses of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and that's the Russo brothers. I hope they know what they're doing. And they said that Endgame had no real rewrites. It was all, the story was relatively the same. They just had a couple of reshoots, and that was it. And it's going to be three hours long, and that's going to be fucking lit. But this movie sucked. I didn't like it. It was fun. And that's about it. You guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my white male opinion. And uh, that's so tough to say with a straight face. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. This is a salute to this bad movie, which I will never watch again. Probably. <laughs> now that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my white male opinion. And... <laughs>
thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my white male opinion. And, uh, <laughs> so fucked up. I hope you enjoyed my white male opinion. And as always, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my white male opinion. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my white male opinion. Fuck! Fuck, I don't know why that's so tough. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed my white male opinion. And, uh... <laughs> Thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my white male opinion. And, uh... You know, if you like it, don't forget to subscribe and all that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah! Subscribe to see more of my white male opinions.